Brazilian court orders Netflix to take down Gay Jesus film, which prompted a gasoline bomb attack on the person behind the program. Um, the ruling responded to a petition by a Brazilian Catholic organization that argued the honor of millions of Catholics um, was hurt by the airing of the first temptation of Christ, which is the name of the um, film. The special was produced by a real based film, film company whose office was targeted in the Christmas. However, in a new development, the Supreme court over there on Thursday allowed Netflix to continue showing the film, reversing a lower court ruling that the film will be taken down because it did irreparable damage to the nation's Christian. In striking down the lower court ban, the president of Brazil's Supreme Court ruled Thursday that freedom of expression was a fundamental right in a democracy. Netflix had appealed to the lower court ruling, saying that it would fight for artistic expression, which goes to the heart of great storytelling but so, did you watch this is where we did are you watch the movie? have you seen it nah, no interested i started the movie but it's just a complete joke i could never i think i didn't even pass like seven minutes because the, i know i'm not i'm not in support of any form of violence but you see the whole gasoline bomb mm. attack i feel like Christians have been quiet enough. Like there are so many things We're they do, do you know they can't with our religion Islam? that they will not try with the Islam. The Islam. Like it and is that's what Jesus totally Christ wrong. Wants. I mean, a lot of people did things to Jesus Christ. So they should continue. I'm not saying they should continue. I'm just <laughs> saying that violence is not the best. No, way I'm not saying it's the Jesus best way, but I feel like. like I don't know how to say this. And I think this is a satire that the goes other too, too far. This went now, this far, is religion. For me, personally. This are uh, people's beliefs. This are uh, what people stand for. And then you come, and then because you want to um, create a satire, you want to create a funny movie, you joke with their beliefs, their values, their standards, what they live and die for. Now, I feel that is very wrong. In as much as um, since 2013, same sex marriage has been um, legal in Brazil. It still doesn't matter that you disrespect people, but a lot of people are saying it that look, you need to look at it from other um, people's angle because mm. in this same movie, um, they depicted God as somebody. I haven't seen it, but someone who's mm. seen it gave me a rundown of the movie. They depicted God as having sex with Mary. You mm. understand? As God having sex with Mary, the Virgin mm. Mary. To give her belly. Mm, to give her to get her pregnant. To get her pregnant. So it's not like um, we had the Virgin Mary that God actually slept. You know, that's a that, lot. That, that is what the movie is saying. It's right? actually in okay. the movie. It was actually dead. I, could not, I, mean, I really could uh, not even watch the movie because it think, was not even funny to me. And, Maybe I can't relate to Brazilian comedy, but I was like, <laughs> 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 As much as we want to be funny, yeah. I think we should um, respect religion mm. no in as much as we want to be artistic because that's the word they're using now especially if you try this with artistry. islam this could cause a war this could cause Okay. I really don't think no, we don't, should no, compare no. and contrast religion. I now. know, Let's just focus but on it's not because it is. someone is lenient and then you keep slapping the person because you have said when they slap you right and you turn the left. So because of that, I'll slap you. You turn tomorrow again. I'll come and slap you. You turn at some point because if the left is go. It will still be your core. And keep one, your core. one other thing I want to mention is I'm, I don't have I'm not homophobic in any way. Like I'm very cool with people that that have different sexual orientation than mine. So that's not a problem. But if you notice, you would realize that um, Hollywood and the Western uh, movie producers in general have deliberately always put the art of lesbianism mm. and gay. In our faces, like for that, they want us to accept it and see it as a norm. Like mm. there is no movie you want to see, even if the gay guy doesn't have a role. Maybe they will just create one where by the road they are kissing each other, or the gay, like it's yeah. just too deliberate. Then somebody a way to throw this thing down our throat, and we're not saying don't live your life, but somebody, I mean take it easy. It's not that deep. Now you're bringing it to somebody's religion to create a whole like it's just like you waking up to say uh, Muhammad is gay and mm. they start like take it easy. It's, it's not that serious. Somebody I, I respect so much, and um, one of our senior colleagues also said that she unsubscribed to Netflix because, because of, of her, this no. movie. Well, that because no, she said because um, to them. Come it's, on, no, there's wait, wait, no, wait. Netflix. She said because <laughs> to them. No, she said 
Yeah, because to them, it's all about the making the money, right? They're trying mm. to gain favor from the um, homosexual community. Every right? community, actually. Yeah, that they're trying to gain favor, not neglecting the fact that this a people's religion. So she unsubscribed because she has to take a stand. Mm. Because that's what they are trying to do. They're trying to take a stand. So she's also taking a and stand. And Netflix should be careful because there are so many options now coming yeah. up. Like, mm. too many options. Like, way too many. I can't even start mentioning names now. So if you just always keep trampling on people's emotions and religion, then something like this could happen on a larger scale. Forget that it is, I mean, this is the person we know. How many people do you know have said, okay, you know what, bye-bye to Netflix. Mm -hmm. What, how many things do you even have that is exclusive that I can't get somewhere else to watch? So like you said, there are other good content on it. Honestly, I, 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 I really, I don't think. And it's, and I, I hold, it's not even should not focus on, I don't know why, but personally, I don't mm. think um, the problem should be Netflix. I think it should be the um, production company because if we're talking about Netflix putting this kind of movie out mm. there, we have other good Christian movies on mm -hmm. Netflix that you have a lot to mm. learn from. So, what should we say about that? I'm should we say that Muslims should unsubscribe to Netflix because of they that? Christian you know, do, but do they you also get, have uh, Muslim movies. Uh, no, I'm just Muslim saying, like, well, if people yeah. see that kind of movie and they think, oh, no, is I don't think this is uh, according to Islam. No, but that's different. I'm that's just, different. What I'm just saying, let's focus is, on the it is not production your company and individuals. Mm. Like, Let's know that it's okay that some people will not believe in whatever you believe in. Mm -hmm. You need to know that and accept it. Don't try to bring anybody. No, no, no. Really that's what I'm saying. Down. What you're saying is different because this is not a case of um, I'm a Muslim. So mm -hmm. because I don't understand Christian movies, I don't want to be there. It's because I am a Christian and I that's feel like you are bring. I'm, I'm there to watch a movie about Christianity no, and I see Jesus like and you are depicting it in a different way. That's like two different things. There entirely. are some movies and there's a lot of there, people that, that will be misguided just by this movie mm -hmm. and we actually take advantage of it. Do you understand? And I'm not even saying don't express yourself artistically. I mean, we're watching Lucifer. Lucifer is... If you watch it, you understand what whoever is behind it is doing. It is not it's not clearly to say, oh, this is a Christian movie or this is how Christians see things, but they are being very deep with it and you can Interesting. agree that this is one of, artistry. One of our um one of the uh, advocates on the advocates, I mean, because they touched on this topic and then it was, his advocacy was that people need to watch the movie themselves, mm -hmm. then understand what it is. Because according For which to one? Um, this, this, um, this game movie, yeah, this game movie okay. it's said um, a lot of people didn't watch the movie. That's why I tried watching it, mm. but I didn't find it funny. I was just bored. It said a lot of people didn't watch the movie, so they are just picking on what this person said, what that person okay, said. Okay, so you were bored, you were not irritated. No, I, honestly, I was, just bored. Yeah, I was just okay, bored. So like, I didn't I'm find not, it I'm funny. Not, I'm not going to say because I'm a Christian, that's why I won't watch this movie. I find it offensive to my religion. Mm. I just think it is respect for religion. The same way I would not watch a movie about a gay Muslim. Allah. Mm. The same way I would not watch a movie about a gay Buddha. Mm. Do you understand? So it's not about Christianity. I just think that I would not disrespect anybody's religion. Mm. That's it. Yeah, For me, I'm not watching it because I I make a very intentional effort to guard what goes into my mind. Mm. So telling me gay Jesus, I don't understand. But what somebody does said that, um, to that you? Um, okay, on a lighter note, somebody mm. said that the white Jesus, well, you know, um, Hi and I have said that um, Jesus is black, and <laughs> you agree. Yeah, I totally so agree. He, he said, Maybe not <laughs> black, but he had a brown skin. But, um, somebody said the white Jesus is actually suspect. That Why does he have only men as disciples? I didn't say it to. Oh, God, God, God. Maybe God. I can answer on the lighter <laughs> note too. In fact, from time immemorial, which is why when people are talking about feminism and trying to bring them down, I say, let them be, because there is a cost to be to, for them to fight. Mm. Women have always been seen as the weaker says, don't enter this place, don't be a pastor in church, don't stand up to talk. Even in the Bible, I think it was a letter from Paul when Paul mm. was saying, um, a certain woman has been active in mm. the ministry, please assist her. So they still see her, even as much as she has She's dropped nice. so hard yeah. in the present, in, in the temple of God, yeah. they still felt like she needed their assistance. own assistance mm. to be respected. Mm. So coming from that patriarchal place, mm. I mean, it's understandable for you to just be able to pick men mm. as your disciples and if you now look at the things jesus did actually with the issue of the blood woman and the woman that was accused of sleeping you know you know he actually stood by them and made sure that nobody was trying to bring them down and he said so, there was a particular disciple that was always leaning on jesus 
Christ chest and a Bible and all of that. I did like say all those things, I feel like all those things are just people's mm -hmm. In my, I mean, I don't let all those things even get to me. I'm like, what are you saying? And you know Unless people are also fighting against the um, toxic masculinity thing. When you say, it's now that we're getting better. Remember before, a guy cannot hug a guy. Like, once it happens, you, you start, the alarms are sparking. Like, are they gay? Is something guys happening? Do all guys but now, have the, you know? no, now you could see them giving emotions. Like, they understand that, okay, he's, he's and you can actually say, sad. I, I love you, bro. Yeah, it happens <laughs> now. People say <laughs> it now. In fact, I used to say, yeah, I love you. Yeah, people, people do uh, now, and so we are moving past I'm that uh, eh? meta. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Me, she just pl it just no, played no, no, out no, no, right I'm now. Not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it's a suspect. I'm just saying if I would probably never tell a no, guy, no, of I love you. No, I, I, I probably tell a lot of friends like that, like especially my friends that are not around. Like mm. after the conversation, I'm like, love, bro. 